Hugo Riemann was, was born later. And we should never forget, uh, uh, here, I've, uh, I've looked, uh, Riemann uh, was born in, in 1849. Okay. So this was a generation. He could have been a, a child of Richard Wagner <laughs> 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 from his, uh, his birthday. And so his theory is a reaction on the crisis of tonality, of romantic harmony. Okay. Uh, and on the other hand, yeah, uh, Riemann was an historian, a quite good historian. He, he, he wrote one of the first history of music theory books. Right. Uh, yeah, and he had some very crazy ideas. So uh, I, for me, like what? Like what? Uh, what are some ideas that he put put forward that were a bit um, forward thinking or crazy? Yeah, the idea of dualism. I see. This, this was not his own idea. He has taken, uh, as far as I know. Uh, this idea from Karl Friedrich Weizmann, a quite interesting theorist before, not so much known. And also, uh, already Weizmann has started the theory saying that uh, minor is uh, the world of major, but uh, <laughs> on the on the head. <laughs> yes, yes. We're seeing that with negative harmony now. <laughs> with negative harmony. And then uh, Riemann was obviously fond of this idea and he yeah. tried to explain seriously everything in minor in a complete different way yeah. so in minor uh, the root of the code is not one but it's five and then everything it's 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 completely the opposite yeah it's, if you really want to do this in analysis you will get a headache <laughs> after five minutes <laughs> But he did, and he, he, he believed absolutely in this new method, and yeah. he believed that this is the, the truth. Yeah, a very intelligent person. But um, th now that's the thing, when you're teaching that as a pedagogy, um, how practical is that when you go very theoretical? Did, did Actually, that's a good question, which is, were there composers that he taught that really used this in practically? Yeah, uh, uh, if, you, if you look into the dev development of uh, Riemann's uh, functional theory in the yeah. 20th century, you can observe that very soon uh, the people tried to simplify Riemann's theory because it was too complicated for the practice. Right, right, right. <laughs> I, uh, there was and a... There is now just this, this, this a real pseudo Riemann theory, uh, which is simplified and, and used uh, in, in many universities today. But it has not so much to do with the original ideas by Riemann. So uh, for me, Riemann is only interesting if you study what he himself has said. And if you accept his crazy ideas, then it, it, it's a, a, a funny intellectual game. Yep. 